Now that you're ready to start using Dreamweaver, I bet you're wondering how do we go about setting up our site template. Well, let's start by creating our template layout by using a table. A table is a way of organizing data into rows and columns. Tables help create the framework of basic sites. So go to the Insert menu or panel and select Insert Table. In the window that pops up, fill out the number of rows and columns we'd like our table to have. For our example, we'll create a table with two rows and two columns. In this screen, we'll also be asked what we'd like our cell padding and cell spaces to be. What are these? Cell padding is the amount of padding inside each individual cell. Cell spacing is the amount of padding between cells. Look at this table. We've set it so that there are 10 pixels of cell padding and one pixel of cell spacing. And now, compare it to this table with one pixel of cell padding and 10 pixels of cell spacing. See the difference? We can play around with these settings until we find what works best. But a good average for a new table is five pixels of cell padding and five pixels of cell spacing. That's what we'll use for now. Don't worry if it doesn't look perfect though. We can always change it later. Here we can also select how wide we want our table to be and how much of a border we want. Let's make our table fill 100% of the window. That way, the table will be able to provide the layout for our entire page. Don't worry too much about the choices we're making here. We can easily change these settings later on by using something called the Properties panel. We'll explain all about that soon. Just know that right now, we're creating a basic page that we'll be able to build upon and edit later. So now that we've finished making our table, we can insert the icon for our portfolio site. How do we do this? Well, first, we click inside the cell we want to insert our photo into so that the cursor is waiting there. Now, insert the icon image by selecting Insert Image. We can either do this by going to the Insert menu and selecting Image, or by selecting the image icon in the Insert panel at the top of our screen. If we've been using the principles of good file management and site pre-planning, then all of the images we want to use for our site have already been placed in the Images folder. So when we click on Insert Image, we simply have to navigate to the Images folder in our site, select the image we wish to insert, and then select OK. Our icon should now be in the upper left-hand cell. Now we can go to the upper right-hand cell and type in the headline of our site. Once we've done that, we can start our navigation bar. We'll do this by inserting a link into the middle left-hand cell. There are a number of different ways to add links but the simplest way is to simply insert a hyperlink. So click inside the table cell where we want to insert our link. Then open the Insert menu and select Insert Hyperlink. An option screen will pop up where we'll be able to input the text of the link and what the link address is. What's the difference? A link address is the actual URL of the file that we're linking to. It's what the HTML is going to use in order to open up our link. The link text is the text that our user will click to get to the link. In our example, we'll call our link Movies with a link to the page movies.html. We'll also be asked whether the link should open in the same browser window or a new browser window. This is called setting a target for the link. We're defining where that link should wind up. There are times when we might want the link to open in a new window, such as a link to a PDF document or a whole other site. But for our navigation bar, we want all the links to open in the same browser window. So select this option. Now let's finish the rest of our navigation bar. Insert the link to our photos page, which is at photos.html. Next, our resume page, resume.html. Finally, a link to our contact information. Remember to use mail to and a colon when creating this last link so that the HTML can tell that the link is for an email address. And there we go, the beginning of our site template. As you can see, 
Dreamweaver makes a lot of site creation basics very simple, giving us the opportunity to focus on making the site work and, at the same time, looking pretty good.